This program outlines maintenance procedures for the Aero 1-inch EXP non-metallic diaphragm pump, model number PD10P-X-X. When repairing an Aero 1-inch EXP diaphragm pump, always use genuine Aero service kits. To repair the air section of the pump, use kit number 637397. To repair the fluid section of the pump, use kit number 637396-X. Tools needed to repair this pump include a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, a half inch wrench or socket, a one and a quarter inch wrench or socket, a five millimeter Allen wrench, a small flathead screwdriver, an O-ring pick, a torque wrench measuring inch pounds, torque wrench measuring foot pounds, an impact wrench can ease the teardown process. Prior to repairing the pump, make sure it has been flushed. Review the material safety data sheet for the fluid in the pump to determine what safety equipment or apparel may be needed when repairing the unit. Use a half inch socket to remove the eight screws that hold the outlet manifold in place. Lift the manifold, then remove the ball check, seat, and two O-rings. Be careful not to damage the ceiling point of the seat. Rotate the pump so that the lower manifold can be reached. Use the half inch socket to remove the lower inlet manifold. Pull the O-rings, seats, and ball checks from the fluid caps. Use the half inch socket to remove screws and flange nuts that secure the fluid caps. Separate the fluid caps from the center body. This will expose the diaphragms. Use the one and a quarter inch socket to loosen the diaphragm washer. You can now remove the diaphragm and backup washer. Models with Teflon diaphragms will have a backup diaphragm. Pull the remaining diaphragm from the center body. Use the wrench flats on the connecting rod to assist in removing the remaining diaphragm. Use a half inch socket to loosen the nuts and screws that hold the air caps to the center body. Also remove the washers and O-rings. The O-rings may have to be taken out of the air caps. If the air caps have not already fallen free, separate one from the center body. Remove the track gasket and O-ring. Also remove the connecting rod bushing. Pull the U-cup from the air cap. Lift the second cap to remove the remaining track gasket, O-ring, and U-cup. At this time, you can also remove the six screws that remained in the air caps. This completes disassembly of the fluid section. Use a five millimeter Allen wrench to remove the air valve block from the center body. Now remove the quick dump checks and track gaskets from the center body. The adapter plate is spring-loaded in the valve block. Use the small flat blade screwdriver to carefully remove the adapter plate. Then remove the track gasket, valve plate, and valve insert. Use the 10 millimeter socket to loosen the nuts and screws that secure the valve block. Remove the screws and both end plates. Pull the end cap from the valve block. Remove the gasket. 
gently tap the valve block on the workbench to dislodge the spool. Remove the U-cups from each end of the spool. Stand the center body upright. With the motor facing you, gently tap the right actuator pin to remove the opposing actuator pin assembly and the pilot piston. Use a socket extension to push out the remaining actuator pin assembly. Push the actuator pin from the sleeve, then remove both O-rings from the sleeve. Repeat the process for the remaining actuator pin assembly. Use the socket extension to push out the pilot sleeve. Remove the O-ring from the outer diameter of the sleeve. Also remove the remaining O-ring from the center body. This completes disassembly of the pump. Clean all components prior to reassembly. Use aero service kits when repairing the pump. Apply Lubriplate FML2 grease to the O-rings and U-cups prior to reassembly. A packet of grease is supplied in both service kits. Install new U-cups on the spool. Make sure the lips of both U-cups face toward the center of the spool. Lubricate the spool assembly and the internal diameter of the valve block. Slide the large end of the spool into the valve block, being careful not to damage the U-cups. Place a new gasket on the end cap. Secure the end cap to the valve block using the end plates, screws, and nuts. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to tighten the nuts. Torque to 35 to 40 inch pounds or 4 to 4.5 Newton meters. Lubricate the ceramic valve insert and install it into the valve block. Make sure the concave of the insert faces out. The radius of the concave should be parallel to the spool. Now lubricate and install the ceramic valve plate over the insert. Make sure the plate lies flat. Polish side should face the insert. Place a new gasket onto the adapter plate. Position the adapter plate over the valve block. Make sure the opened end of the track gasket seat faces down. Then snap it into place. Carefully install new quick dump checks into the center body. Install the two track gaskets. Then attach the valve block to the center body using the six screws and a five millimeter Allen wrench. Torque to 35 to 40 inch pounds or four to 4.5 Newton meters. Place a new lubricated O-ring into the center body. Install a new O-ring on the outer diameter of the pilot sleeve. Insert the sleeve into the center body. Be careful not to cut one of the O-rings during this step. Lubricate the new pilot piston and insert it into the sleeve. Insert the pilot actuator pin into the sleeve. Install new O-rings on the actuator pin and sleeve. Insert into the center body. Place both of the air caps face down on the workbench. Install new U-cups into the air caps, making sure the lips of the U-cup face down. Install new O-rings and a track gasket onto one side of the center body. Using lubricant helps keep these parts in place. Install three screws into the front or air motor side of the air cap. Set the center body on the corresponding air cap, making sure the O-ring and track gasket remain in place. Put the next set of O-rings and track gasket in place on the center body. 
Install the connecting rod bushing. Install three screws into the front or air motor side of the second air cap. Carefully place the second air cap onto the center body. Place a new washer and O-ring onto one of the screws. Carefully insert it into the air cap and through the center body. Attach an O-ring, washer, and nut to the screw. Tighten enough to hold the air caps and center body together. Then attach the remaining O-rings and washers. Apply Loctite 242 to the screw threads before attaching the nuts. Using the half-inch socket, torque to 11 to 14 foot-pounds or 14.9 to 19 newton meters. Slide one of the diaphragms over the threaded end of the diaphragm washer, followed by the backup washer. Make sure the chamfer side of the washer faces the diaphragm. Apply Loctite 271 to the threads and attach the connecting rod to this assembly. Note that pumps with Teflon diaphragms feature a second backup diaphragm. Lubricate the connecting rod before inserting it into the center body. Be careful not to damage the U-cup in this process. Apply Loctite 271 to the second diaphragm assembly and attach to the connecting rod. To keep Teflon diaphragms in place, it helps to insert a pair of bolts through the air cap and diaphragm. Use the one and a quarter inch socket to torque the diaphragm washers to 25 to 30 foot pounds or 33.9 to 40.7 newton meters. Attach both fluid caps to the center body using the screws and flange nuts. With the half inch socket, torque each to 10 to 12 foot pounds or 13.6 to 16.3 newton meters. Follow the torque sequence in the operator's manual when attaching the caps. Place the ball checks, seats, and O-rings in the fluid caps. Attach the lower inlet manifold. Use the half inch socket to torque these screws to 10 to 12 foot pounds or 13.6 to 16.3 newton meters. Stand the pump upright. Place new O rings, seats, and ball checks into the top outlet manifold. Carefully align the manifold and secure with the screws. Be careful not to damage the O-rings. Use the half-inch socket to torque these screws to 10 to 12 foot-pounds or 13.6 to 16.3 newton meters. This completes disassembly and reassembly procedures for the Ingersoll Rand Arrow 1-inch EXP non-metallic diaphragm pump.